this JavaScript is very, very simple, but it looks like it would take weeks or months to create. Watch what happens here. I'm going to just uh, type in some numbers in, in a mathematical expression. 45 times 25 divided by 4.5432 minus 78.9.32. And then hit the tab key and it automatically calculates it out in a certain number of decimal places. If I go back and change this expression 500 times 3 or 5, and hit the tab key, it automatically evaluates to 2500. Uh, and I can even put in uh, special uh, mathematical functions that are built into JavaScript. So I can type math.round, which uh, rounds a number, 3.9. 3, 2, hit the tab key, and it automatically rounds 3.932 to 4, multiplies that times 5, multiplies that times 500, and you get 10,000. So it looks like a very complicated script, but in fact, it's, it's simple. So let's take a look at it. What we've got, if we look at just the form, we have a form name as form 1, and we have two input fields, two text fields, one here and one here. We've given them each names. One is named calc. That's where we enter in the information that's going to be uh, converted into a number. And then we have a one field named ands, for short for answer, in which we're going to pop up the answer when we're finished entering in our uh, mathematical formula. When we leave this field, after we've entered in that information, um, we can do that by clicking or by hitting the tab key. That is known as an on blur event. So when the user leaves a particular text field, it sends an on blur message to JavaScript. And it catches it. And of course, we trigger a function called calculator. Now, the function calculator is actually very simple. It, it's only one. JavaScript function, and it's the eval function. And the eval function takes a string, and it converts it into a mathematical expression, and it evaluates that expression. But what we're doing is we're taking the document form calc fields value, and we are looking at that almost as if we were a calculator, and converting it into the answer, and then we're just setting the answer's value to that. And that's all it does. So let's take a look at that again in Explorer. Type in some number, multiply it times another number, divide it by another number, multiply that times, uh, I'm going to even put parentheses in here, 5 times uh, 32.9983 just like that, and hit the tab key, or I can click anywhere outside of that entry field and just and uh, I can even click in here if I wanted to. And sure enough, it evaluates that expression and pops it up right here. If, in fact, we make some kind of mistake and try to evaluate, we will get some kind of error. So um, be aware that that will happen, or if you try to use a math function that isn't quite executed correctly, you may get this type of answer, capital N, lowercase a, capital N, stands for not a number, so it doesn't really understand that. This function, by the way, the math random function, returns a random number between 0 and 1 based on a particular seed that you give it, and uh, you can put in any number you want here, and you'll continue to get a different number because the random number changes every time you execute it. Notice that I go from 1,400 to 160, 3,000, 1,500, etc. So this is a really good script to use when you're testing the math in your scripts.